led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. We cannot afford 
to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. The bridge is being held by Tao Qian's army. We will have to remove them if we wish to cross to the other side. This is to finally bring an end to the chaos. We must succeed no matter what obstacles stand in our way. Shu province out of pure rage. I tire you are invaders, pure and simple. I do not care what you think. We are here to fight, no matter what you say. Yeah. <laughs> Crush all opposition with overwhelming strength. It seems that is Master Cao Cao's way. So you have no ear for reason. So what will happen to Shu Province now? by rage? That's pathetic. I will never give shoe profits to you. In that case, you leave us no choice but to defeat you in battle. We must obtain this land, no matter what the cost. Father, I am so sorry. We have managed to secure the bridge. Now, let's make our way to Pang Castle. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Truly amazing, my lord. One capable of unifying this land. Explained he didn't mean to kill Cao Cao's father, but unsurprisingly, was executed anyway. I just can't forgive Cao Cao. I'm not going to fight any longer. <laughs> <laughs>